Hello, and thank you for standing by for Tunio's 2020 third quarter earnings conference call. At this time, all participants are in a listen-only mode. After management's prepared remarks, there will be a question and answer session. Today's conference is being recorded. If you have any objections, you may disconnect at this time. I would now like to turn the meeting over to your host for today's conference call, Director of Investor Relations, Mary. Please go ahead. Thank you, and welcome to our 2020 third quarter earnings conference call. Joining me on the call today are Donald Yu, Tunyu's founder, chairman, and chief executive officer, and An Xiang Chen, Tunyu's financial controller. For today's agenda, management will discuss business updates, operation highlights, and financial performance for the third quarter of 2020. Before we continue, I refer you to our safe harbor statement in earnings press release, which applies to this call, as we will make forward-looking statements. Also, this call includes discussions of certain non-GAAP financial measures. Please refer to our earnings release, which contains a reconciliation of non-GAAP measures to the most directly comparable GAAP measures. Finally, please note that, unless otherwise stated, all figures mentioned during this conference call are in RMB. I would now like to turn the call over to our founder, chairman, and chief executive officer, Donald Yu. Thank you, Mary. Good day, everyone. Welcome to our 2020 third quarter earnings conference call. We are glad to see that uh, in the third quarter, while operating expenses continue to decline, our net revenue increased more than 200% over the second quarter, and GNV maintained an up, uh, upward monthly growth trend through July, August, and September. Our operating cash flow also began to turn positive this quarter. The recovery of the domestic travel industry was evident. According to China's Ministry of Culture and Tourism, a total of 637 million tourists traveled within China during the October National Day holiday, almost returning to 80% of 2019 levels. We are positive on the domestic, uh, domestic market, which contributed to the improvement of our business. And here I'd like to share our efforts made on sales and products during the quarter. For two new sales network dedicated to our customer first principle, we have built a wide and solid customer base. We have established a unique customer service system in our industry with tour advisors to guide customers in booking services and dedicated customer service representatives to maintain customer relationships. In addition, we have extended our services to handle customer needs after they reach their destination and have established our own local tour operators. During the epidemic, our customer service and the local tour operators provided timely service for customers who made great contributions to the recovery of our business in the post-epidemic era. Following the outbreak of COVID-19, we quickly refunded or altered previously purchased packages in order to maintain customer interest and guarantee experience. Owing to our timely response, we've earned long-term trust and support from our customers. As the domestic travel market resumed, we've been rewarded with a group of loyal customers who have made an important contribution to Two News Recovery. Our social marketing tool, Taiku, has also been playing an important role in our sales efforts. In the third quarter, sales GMV from Taiku increased by over 20 times compared with the second quarter. This is an innovative sales model that combines the store owner's network 
of trusted relationships with the ability to significantly increase customer stickiness. With the support of our tech app, owners can more conveniently promote our products and destinations to customers. In April, two new started hosting live streaming shows on a weekly basis. We have been testing various types of products and different live streaming strategies to determine what works best in terms of product sales. For example, we have launched a series of special priced products during our live stream shows that usually sell out quickly after they go online. We will continue to explore methods to attract new customers. We are now more focused on general based channels such as high traffic online platforms, scenic sports, and the cross industry cooperation in order to gradually from, uh, form a multiple channel network for acquiring new customers. I would uh, now like to give an update on our products. China has a lot of excellent travel destinations, and we find that more of customer, much of customer, consumers' demand for outbound travel can be shifted to the domestic market. Many tourists who originally planned to travel abroad did not cut their planned trip budget due to epidemic restrictions. Instead, they have tend to use the same budget for traveling within China. This has created the perfect opportunity to further develop high quality products and services for domestic travel uh, market. Tunio's years of experience in the industry help guide the rapid recovery of our business. We have been deeply involved in China's leader travel market for more than a decade. Since 2014, we have implemented a direct procurement strategy and cooperated with a number of local tour bureaus. This allowed us to adopt a centralized purchasing strategies to consolidate quality or, or quantity advantage and achieve better prices. In terms of products, Tunio has continued to innovate and upgrade, upgrade our products based on customer demands. We have established our two new brand products, new tour, which is positioned in the market as a high quality organizing tour and has received a, a 97% satisfaction rate on average. New tour product established a series of service standards of for improving the customer experience and has become the benchmark of, for the industry. In order to meet the demand for better and safer products by domestic travelers, we upgraded the service standards of new tour after the outbreak of the epidemic. We launched a new logo for our new tour, which aimed to give a fresh image to our customers. The number of smaller size package tours and customized tours have continued to grow with consumers becoming increasingly focused on high quality personalized tourism products. Our customized tour GMV in the third quarter increased by eight times compared with the second quarter. In addition, we are also paying more attention to integrating current popular trends with the younger generation into our tour products, such as sports recommended, uh, recommended by online influencers and seasonal hotspots in order to attract more customers. For example, with the coming of winter, and the popularity of local tours, we launched products such as hot spring vacations, 
uh, featuring a mid to high end hot spring hotels and popular B and B. In terms of service, we have over 30 local tour operators in China providing services for tourists directly. Since the COVID-19 outbreak, we have not closed down any of our local tour operators. And recently, we are establish, uh, establishing new ones in Yunnan. Yunnan has recovered rapidly when domestic tra uh, market reopened. After we set up the local tour operators, we can better service tourists uh, from Tunyu, as well as attract more tourists in the destination. In terms of product design, we have taken the transportation plus uh, destination-based tour model to the next level. As tourists uh, focus on, more on destination experiences in the post-COVID-19 era, we believe that the Hotel Plus X product model is ideal for destination-based tour products. By segmenting local tour services into more detailed services, including attraction tickets, one-day or multiple-day tours, and other destination-based activities, we are able to identify the best resources to meet customer demand. Demand. Also, we raised the, the standards of product launch again after the outbreak of the epidemic. In the past, products with 75% or high satisfaction rate could be launched on our website and apps. Last year, we raised the rate to 80% and this year to 85%. High quality services and products have additional values to our customers and help us maintain and attract them. With the gradually, well, gradual recovery of the domestic travel industry, we are looking forward to the upcoming quarters. We also expect that the outbound travel market may start to open up due to the recent development of an effective COVID vaccine. Overall, the epidemic has brought us both opportunities and challenges. It has also accelerated the long-term process of upgrading the travel industry's products and services. Tunio's success is rooted in leading the industry is creating products and services trends that address rapidly changing customer demands. And we look forward to more opportunities that lie ahead. I will now turn the call over to Anqiang Chen, our financial controller, for financial highlights. Thank you, Donna. Hello, everyone. Now, I will walk you through our third quarter 2020 financial results in greater detail. Please note that all the monetary amounts are in RMB, unless otherwise stated. You can find the US dollar equivalents of the numbers in our earnings release. For the third quarter of 2020, net revenues were 123.5 million representing a year-over-year -year decrease of 86% from the corresponding period in 2019. The decrease was primarily due to the negative impact brought by the outbreak and spread of COVID-19. Revenues from package tours were down 88% year-over-year to 86.4 million and accounted for 70% of our total net revenues for the quarter. The decrease was primarily due to the decline in travel to international destinations impacted by the outbreak and spread of COVID-19. Other revenues were down 65% year-over-year to 37.1 million and accounted for 30% of our total net revenues. The decrease was primarily due to the decline in service fees received from insurance companies and revenues generated from financial services. 
gross margin was 53% in the third quarter of 2020, compared to a gross margin of 45% in the third quarter of 2019. Operating expenses for third quarter of 2020 were 127.8 million, down 71% year over year, excluding shell based compensation expenses and amortization of acquired intangible assets. Non GAAP operating expenses were 118.2 million, representing a year over year decrease of 69%. Research and product development expenses for the third quarter of 2020 were 16 million, down 75% year over year. The decrease was primarily due to the decrease in research and product development personnel related expenses. Sales and marketing expenses for the third quarter of 2020 were 49.9 million, down 79% year over year. The decrease was primarily due to the decrease in promotion expenses and sales and marketing personnel related expenses. General and administrative expenses for the third quarter of 2020 were 69.8 million, down 50% year over year. The decrease was primarily due to the decrease in general and administrative personnel related expenses. Net loss attributable to ordinary shareholders was 56.9 million in the third quarter of 2020. Non GAAP net loss attributable to ordinary shareholders, which excluded share based compensation expenses and amortization of acquired intangible assets, was 57.2 million in the third quarter of 2020. As of September 30, 2020, the company had cash and cash equivalents, restricted cash, and short term investments of 1.6 billion. Cash flow generated from operations for the third quarter of 2020 was 5.5 million. Capital expenditures for the third quarter of 2020 were 3.5 million. News business has been significantly and negatively impacted by the outbreak and spread of COVID-19 since January 2020. As a result of the continued influence by COVID-19, for the fourth quarter of 2020, the company expects to generate 112.8 million to 135.4 million of net revenues, which represents 70% to 75% decrease year over year. Please note that this forecast reflects to new current and preliminary review on the industry and its operations, which is subject to change, particularly as to the uncertainties brought about by the impact of COVID-19. Thank you for listening. We are now ready for your questions. Operator? Thank you. We will now begin the question and answer session. To ask a question, may press star then one on your touchdown phone. If you're using a speakerphone, please pick up your handset before pressing the keys. To withdraw your question, please press star then two. In order to be fair to all callers who wish to ask questions, we will take one question at a time from each caller. If you have more than one question, please request to join the question queue again after your first question has been addressed. We will pause momentarily to assemble our roster. The first question today comes from T.C. Wang, a private investor. Please go ahead. Thank you for taking my question. Hi, management. Recently, we see news such as the positive COVID-19 vaccine trial data that favor the travel industry. Would you please share with us your view on the recovery of the industry and what's the strategy to catch the recovery momentum? Thanks. Thank you for the question. Uh, yes, it's very encouraging to hear the recent development of effective COVID vaccines in both China and Western countries. That's good news for all human beings. 
Also, the Chinese authorities recently announced to keep 2021 uh, Labor Day holiday as five days long. This news boosted the further recovery of domestic tourism. In fact, we are always confident for the long-term perspective for the travel industry. The domestic market is getting better and better. During the past National, Hol uh, National Day holiday, both the industry and the company showed good recovery. Owing to our deep involvement in the leader travel market, solid customer base, as well as the efforts made by our employees, Tunyu has been among the fastest to recover among China's travel agencies. In short term, we are still focusing on the domestic travel market. For the outbound travel still remains uncertainty. On the product side, we always commit to customer first, one of our core values. Our product team are trying to find different itineraries as well as various destination-based activities to satisfy the needs of both organized tour and self-guided tour customers. Our customer representatives and the tour guides are working hard to provide the best service to our customers. On the sales side, we are grateful to our loyal customers as the repeated customer contribution reached new high in the third quarter. Our dedication to the improvement of products and services help us increase the repertory rate. We reached the standard of, for product launch again this year so as to meet the customer needs for better and safer products. Taiko APP app is one of our new channels of acquiring customers compared to traditional ones. GMV generated from Taiko app also saw in the third quarter. One of the major advantages of Taiko is to acquire customers using the store owner's network of trusted relationships. These customers usually have higher thickness. On the product side, recently we launched the upgraded Hotel Plus X product model, which is ideal for the changing needs of domestic travelers in the post-pandemic era. With the core resource hotel, we add different segment resources to form various products. Based on our direct procurement strategy and the dynamic packaging system, we were able to find excellent resources and package them to, uh, at uh, discounted prices. In terms of outbound travel, although it's currently unavailable, we are positive to the long-term prospect. Overseas leader travel is one of our core strengths. We will maintain the core team and keep them trained uh, periodically. We are confident that Junior will be among the first to recover outbound travel business when travel restrictions are relieved. Thank you. Thank you. I have no further questions. Thanks. Again, if you have a question, please press star, then one. Since there appears to be no further questions, we are approaching the end of the conference call. I will now turn the call over to Junio's Director of Investor Relations, Mary, for any closing remarks. Once again, thank you for joining us today. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any further questions. Thank you for your continued support, and we look forward to speaking with you in the coming months. Thank you for your participation in today's conference. This concludes the presentation. You may now disconnect. Have a great day.